We're now going to look at the light independent reactions, which used to be known as the Kelvin cycle. What we have here is a large, unstable molecule. We feed in three CO2 molecules to create six three-carbon phosphate molecules. Now, we add a lot of energy to these and end up with six times a specific molecule called triose phosphate. Now, the molecules that you need to know here are in a blue box. The other molecules you don't need to know their name or IB. So we end up with the first half of the Kelvin cycle here. Now, one triose phosphate is broken off and sent away. So we are left with five more. Now, these molecules are highly unstable, meaning that with some more energy input, 3 ATP in this case, we can cause our five triose phosphate molecules to become one ribulose bisphosphate, large unstable molecule. So this summarizes the Kelvin cycle. This whole section here is really unstable, meaning with a minimal energy input, we can transfer the molecules from a three carbon molecules, we don't need to know their name, to our triose phosphate. Now this is a triose phosphate. We get a triose phosphate from another Krebs cycle somewhere else, and these react together to become a six carbon double phosphate molecule, Phosphates are broken off to provide energy to make our six carbon hexose sugar. This, in a nutshell, is the Kelvin cycle or light independent reaction. Sometimes it's easier to forget the names for a minute and just draw it as giant molecule. Six smaller molecules. One molecule is taken away, leaving us with five small molecules which are reacted again with an energy input to make our giant molecule. If you remember, we had our intermediate here. So this would be the simplest way to look at the Kelvin cycle. Of course, we had an energy input through here, 6 ATP, 6 NADPH, and 3 more ATP here to do this. Our whole aim of this thing is to make our triose phosphate here. Two of these are then added together to make a 6 carbon molecule, which then converts to be our 6 carbon hexose sugar. This is a more simple way to look at the light independent reaction. Here we can see the whole process, or as a more simple diagram, here we can see the whole deal as well. The only molecules we need to know the names of are the ones in yellow. Other molecules we don't need to know the name of. So the little guy is triose phosphate and the larger molecule is ribulose bisphosphate. That's not a typo, there is an S there. So here is a key to the molecules we need to know and that is a summary briefly outlining the Kelvin cycle. Either adds just molecules whose names we need to know the whole aim is to make this, or with a little bit more detail, with the names, etc.